we could start if you could just if you could just tell us your name and kind of who you are and where we are right now. My name is Andrea Delgado. Um, I work for a Hispanic rights organization, the Labor Council for Latin American Advancement, and I was invited to watch a great film screening of the movie Farming Bill, a film that documents the reality of immigrant day laborers in Long Island, specifically Farming Bill, Long Island, and the kind of anti-immigrant sentiment that um, was fueled by a lot of uh, resentment and um, uncertainty about you know who these people are why are they standing on our community corners what do they want are they taking jobs are they making our communities unsafe and instead of answering those questions I feel like people are reaching conclusions that are very negative about the immigrant community as a whole and that's very dangerous because from what I watch from the film it's fueled a lot of uh, hate crimes and back in 2003 to uh, immigrant day laborers and ended up getting uh, beaten up and thankfully survived. But uh, about a year ago, an Ecuadorian immigrant in Long Island, New York, uh, was stabbed in the chest and died. And it was a hate related crime as well. So we feel like this is a very dangerous situation for people that don't understand why it's so important to have immigration reform because people's lives are, are at stake. The lives of Latinos and people of color are at stake. Um, when we're not reaching any sensible solutions about how to solve the problem, uh, we're making our communities less safe. If it's if being a Latino or being a brown person uh, makes you more vulnerable to a hate crime, that's a serious issue for our community, and that affects not just immigrants but uh, entire communities as a whole.